Um, I just want to share my story, my story with y'all, uh, cause this is this is how Jordan. Like every every time I'm in an interview, I always mention two people, you and Alex, cause like you guys were the ones who pretty much you know were there, right? And when we were speaking of community and stuff, where. Alex showed me that it was possible for somebody that I knew personally from my childhood could do it. Cause like when you're growing up, you just, you see, Oh, George Clooney, he's in an interview. Oh yeah. I could like, fuck that. I, I, I can't compare myself or, or relate to George Clooney or Tom <laughs> Hanks. So like seeing a buddy of mine who was also Filipino do it, it's like, yeah, okay, it's possible. Right. And then Jordan, um, Jordan, you're Filipino shit. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then Jordan Clarkson, Jordan, right? Jordan, Jordan gave me Jordan Clarkson. gave me his auditions. Jordan fucking gave me his auditions. Even though I had an agent and he wasn't sending me to any fucking auditions. I'm not gonna name drop who he is yet. I'm gonna wait till I'm at my fucking my my variety actors on actors interview right. to drop this name bomb. But yeah. like um yeah, I wasn't getting any auditions because apparently I didn't have the it factor. And Jordan was giving me his auditions and he's like, yo, you should put this on tape. You should put this on tape. And it's like, that's the fucking camaraderie that like, I, I will remember till the end of days. Cause like, that's what led me to my first series regular was an audition that Jordan was like, yo, you should read for this. Like Jordan should have fucking got a cut for that. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's Where it. that's huge. Hey, you pay, you paid my rent. You paid my rent. <laughs> that, one, that one month you paid my rent. <laughs> you know what I mean and it's just it's crazy where it's just like that's why like when it comes to like this writer strike where and then we need to get to work but like it's crazy where we need the fucking writers you know we need their words we because like if what we're just actors what an actor is nothing without words we're just standing there emoting but we don't have anything to say yeah oh man for that, right. for that matter, we we need everybody in the in the whole circus of it, right? We need the lighting guy, we need the sound technician. Yeah. You know, everybody has their role, and it's like I, people that I've met along the way, like friends of mine who aren't in the industry. Several times they've said to me, "Hey, Drew, man, take me to work with you, man. Take me yeah. to work, and I'll do the rest." Like they think you can just show up on a film set and act or something. I'm telling them, dude, everybody on set is spoken for. Everybody yeah. there has a specific job to do, and there's no extra people. Like, there's exactly the amount of lunches set for the exact amount of people that they need to be there, right? Yeah, it's very it specific. But, like, like no no shade or anything to people that are behind the camera and stuff like that. But, like, when you mention lighting and gaffers and grip and stuff like that, they still have other opportunities in other fields where it's like, okay, go work at a concert. Right. You know? They, they need lighting text there. They need grips. They need gaffers there to set up their actors stages do not. and stuff. We right. don't have anything as actors. All we no. have is, if anything, okay, let's, even Fringe has changed. Fringe used to be, let's go perform on a street corner. And then now that there's venues, like actors don't have street corners to perform on now. Like they, they yeah. still need a venue to go to. It's crazy. Right. But um, for people that are on the podcast and, watching this they can see stuff happening on here and it looks like jazz donda is about to do some fast and the furious stuff right now <laughs> i think why, she's trying why, to parallel park why are no, you always in your car man he just hell? like she just flipped somebody off she was like what the fuck listen she i'm a homeless real estate agent <laughs> i'm a homeless real estate agent comedian that's funny i actually was gonna pitch a show about a homeless real estate agent <laughs> 